We went out this morning uh, with uh, well, quite a lot of people, over 100 people, and uh, we had a great wild foray. It was better than I thought it was going to be because we, we found, I think we had nearly 30 species in three quarters of an hour, which was quite remarkable. When you consider that most people only eat 14 or 15 plants in the course of a year with our modern diet, and we found just 30 in just a small part of the garden this morning. What we're looking at is things probably that would be considered weeds mostly. So things like dandelions, the little daisy leaves growing in amongst the lawn there, uh, nettles. Yeah, I was doing a demonstration this morning trying to encourage people to actually use seaweed, which is something that people don't really cook with. And it's such a shame there's so much down there and a lot of wild food that could easily and sustainably be picked. Wild food is something that reconnects people with their environment in a way that just nothing else does. You know. Everybody's got to eat, and if you start thinking about your food as being from the place where you are, all of a sudden you've re-established a connection that's been broken. One of the sad things about modern, the modern world is people don't appreciate their own habitat. They don't look out the window, they go for a walk, they look at the road ahead, they don't, they're not looking from side to side to see what's there. Uh, and what foraging does is concentrate people's minds and they're actually looking, they're starting to see things, they start to see th how things grow, they start to notice the season. They get, to, they get to appreciate the natural world in a way they never have before. I think the novelty's worn off of, of just buying cheap, mass-produced stuff in the supermarket. People are realising that that stuff's just not that good. And uh, we're, just, we're just getting back to normal.